Welcome to today's Coffee and Comics, or Comics and Coffee. I am your host, Jay Wheeler, your number one source for nerdy stuff, comic book know-how and reviews, and nerdy background noise. Uh, today's nerdy background noise is brought to you by South Park. I, there's a marathon on Comic Central right now, and so I thought to have it just play in the background. So, all right. So, today is New Comic Wednesday, and we also have some great news for people that have seen Marvel movies or DC movies and have wondered, those movies are amazing, I would like to know, I would like to know more about them and start reading comic books about them and not sound like I am a noob. That, so there's going to be, I'll talk about that on how to not be a noob. And know what you're talking about when you and other people talk about comic books and stuff. Uh, there's also news, a uh, new banner for Arrow. Uh, there is talks about Guardians of the Galaxy, the mood for the next James Bond movie. Uh, and for you World of Warcraft fans, there's some new information that regards when they're going to start filming. And also... There is some sort of leak of what toys are going to be coming out for the most popular movies from Toys R Us. So, let's just get started with comic books first, and then we'll go into that news. Alright, so, first we got Superman, issue 23. I started reading Superman a while back, but then kind of lost, got a little lost track in the Superman so I don't know what's really going on. The last thing I read was that Wonder Woman and Superman went to Lois's, Lois's uh, one of her housewarming parties, and he was thinking he saw Lois dressed up as Wonder Woman, but then like shook his head and she was dressed up as Wonder Woman. So I had to, I had to do with this guy right here because this guy was in this guy's head, and so now that he's out. And he's trying to get back in. Maybe it has to do something with this one right here. But I will read this issue and get back to you tomorrow. So I... But I do love the art. Um, each of these Superman... I think that's why I went from Action Comics to Superman. Because this art is just... It's so cool. And the colors are very bright and vibrant. And they're just like right at you. And... It, yeah, and there's a lot of detail in there, too, so it's pretty cool. Uh, also, Flash 23. Well, I kind of just did that pretty fast. Like the Flash. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Uh, and this issue, well, this ongoing issues, they, um, after the Speed Force thing and after the Gorilla Grog War, um, somehow... The speed somehow someone got speed force, but in an evil way, and is now making the reverse flash. So this is the new fifty two version of the reverse flash. He's not just wearing a yellow, yellow and red suit anymore. He actually looks like he looks like uh, Venom and the Flash kind of melted, like fused together. So say like the bad. The bad guy, or the reverse Flash, which is, I believe, not a, yeah, he's not a uh, scientist like Barry Allen here, but say this guy was running in the Speed Force, and all of a sudden the embryo of Venom got into the Speed Force and mixed with the Speed Force, that's what this kind of looks like. So, but Barry Allen is trying to figure out who's been killing people and leaving a Speed Force kind of trail. And now that they've met up and they're fighting each other, yeah, it's it's getting pretty good so far. So I can't wait to read this issue because it seems like this new Reverse Flash is a little more powerful than this Flash. So I'll let you know tomorrow. Also, we got Teen Titans 23. This is after this is after the fight between. Uh, Raven's father and brothers, and also Beast Boy joins, and 
a new 52 Raven joins, and so, like I said before, the new 52 is, they took the heroes, and they put little different things in them, but the hero groups are more likely getting back together from when it originally started, just with different twists now, so. Uh, in this issue, it looks like people from the 31st century are trying to take Flash, Kid Flash back to the 31st century. So, uh, this looks like it's going to be a new, a new uh, ongoing series, or new story arc, ongoing series. New story arc, so I can't wait to read this because I've loved the Teen Titans since I started. Uh, yeah, and I just love how I... Here's the only thing that is really good about this one is that the reverse flash, uh, reverse flash, the kid flash has no tides to any of the other flashes. So he's not, he doesn't remember anything and he doesn't, and I believe he's not connected to Barry Allen or Wally West. So I don't think he's a son of any of them. But he's still from the 31st century, so I will, again, let you know tomorrow when I do my review about this comic. So, and then also, uh, just to pick up, I want to start reading uh, this guy right here, The Rocketeer. Most of you know the movie that, you know, was in the 90s. It was a big hit in the 90s. It made me want to buy, made me want to make a rocket pack and fly. But the movie rocket pack is two jet the actual comic book that is it's been a comic book before it was a Disney movie it's actually a single rocket same same costume but it's a single rocket not a two not a twin rocket so that's the only difference but I actually started wanting to read this more uh, I started reading it back when I lived in Seattle and then I kind of just lost interest I don't know but I started I got my interest back into it because I was watching Heroes of Cosplay yesterday and one of the girls was dressing up as uh, Betty Page. She somehow took the helmet and the jacket and saved the Rocketeer with the Rocketeer stuff. And I saw that cover. I'm like, oh, I remember reading the Rocketeer. I want to get back into it. So that's why I'm now going to be back into reading Do Doctor Who. The Rocketeer. Although Rocketeer and Doctor Who, that would be a cool mix. Yeah, and it is issue four, and it's done by IDW. So there's two issue, the two issues, two um, it's two different title names, but it's the same issue, which is kind of kind of weird, but at the same time it's cool because I think they're going for that nostalgic '50s kind of thing that they used to put on comic books. So yeah, so as always, I get these comic books from Empire of Comic Books Vault. On Fulton Avenue, Sweet K. Uh, it's 1120 Fulton Avenue, Sweet K. So, if you, you know, want to find a good comic book place to go to, Empire Comic Books Vault is the place to go. Alright. Now to the news, guys. Uh, so, we have, so now, so, like I said before, have you ever wondered, have you ever watched like Thor or the Avengers or Iron Man at, or Wolverine and thought that those are really good movies and that you want to get back into reading those particular comic books, but you don't really want to sound like a noob when you haven't read the comic books, but you're like saying that you love those things. So there is a thing on comicbookmovies.com where it gives you kind of a whole list and a detailed, a detailed orient of like what the relationship between Bucky and Captain America are, and what's gonna, what relationship is going to be in the movie, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, how they started, the characters, why uh, each character is the way they are, where they started from, uh, uh, what was it? Oh. Who are the aliens from the new Thor movie? Why are they important to be the villains in this next movie? Uh, and a whole lot of other things that are just that helps you not know, not pretend to know what you're talking about, but actually know what you're talking about. 
So, and they'll give you, and in the depth thing, they'll give you, like, each individual issue that is important to what the movie is going to be about. So, you can read those issues, and then when you see the movie, you'll be like, oh, okay, I get what, so, you'll know what you're talking about after you talk about the movie. Alright, secondly, there's a new banner up for Arrow uh, that, so, I believe, premieres October... October 9th? I believe October 9th. I'm not sure. I'll check. I'll check. I'll recheck my uh, notes and get back to you on that. But it just shows a more. It shows one side that has all of his uh, island, all the people who was on the island with, and then another side, all, you know, everyone that he works with now. And then the background's the island. So, Arrow's a pretty good show. I can't wait to see sec the second season. And how Black Canary comes in, and if how the Flash is going to come in, and if they do Nightwing, can't wait for that series. Pretty good series. Uh, thirdly, uh, the new mood, the the mood for the new the next James Bond movie, the twenty fourth movie, will be similar to it'll be a reclaiming of the old irony from the old movies, from like the uh, Sean Connery era. So. You know, if you've seen Skyfall, you know what happens at the end. They start up, they re, they end the 90s James Bond films that they've been making with a girl M. And they now go back to to the uh, early, early days of where M was a guy and James Bond and him and James Bond worked together and he had relations with Money Penny and there was a new Q and everything. So, yeah, that's... I think that's going to be pretty awesome, how they're taking new London, new age London, and having 50 style nostalgic London, spy versus spy kind of stuff. It's going to be pretty awesome. So, if you loved Skyfall, you'll love this next one, because I've seen Skyfall at least a million times, and I know a lot of other people. Speaking of uh, James Bond, uh, if you listen to The Nerdist, and you know about, you know the uh, the infatuation of James Bond with Matt Myra, loving James Bond. Let me reiterate that. Um, Matt Myra is going to be doing a podcast called James Bonding, where they'll go, it's like, it's like the Star Trek podcast, if you ever listened to that one. They go by each individual movie, and they break it down, and they discuss it, and they talk about what they liked about that movie, what they did like about that movie, what they should have done. All that great stuff. So look out for that podcast coming soon. Uh, it's going to be on the Nerdist Network, so check that out. And check out the um, the Star Trek one, too, because it's on there, too. And it's done by uh, the creator's son and I think one of his friends. I'm not really sure, but check it out. It's a pretty good podcast. Um, third season of Walking Dead is now available. Blu-ray, DVD. Go out and buy it at your local stores. Or Amazon. Either way, how you get your DVD entertainment. And then lastly, uh, the new the new director, Duncan Jones, has released a date for when they're going to start filming. They are going to start filming this movie on January 13th, 2014, uh, with Legendary Pictures. And as you know, Legendary Pictures has renewed their partnership with Warner Brothers, so this movie should be, this movie should be great. Uh, I played a little bit of WoW a long time ago, and I don't know, it's just not, it's just not me, really, but I appreciate the game when I did play it. I, when I saw Mr. the, the uh, Panda beta, that kind of wanted to bring me back in, because Mr. the Pandaria, because it, it's pandas that know or that are ninjas, essentially. So, but, yeah. Alright, so, uh, that will be it for today. I hope you all have a great day. Please subscribe to my channel, and please visit me on Facebook at shortnerdyguy Facebook slash shortnerdyguy.com uh, and have a great day. I'm going to read more comic books.